This is the DeGlopper Air Assault School's 10 layout demonstration inspection. You will be given 10 minutes to lay out your equipment as seen on the video, and then you will come to the position of attention and sound off with. We're also number 10 ready for inspection, Sergeant Air Assault. We will start by checking your dog tags to make sure that they are worn outside of your chest strap. We will also check to see that your chest strap is fastened and that the chem light is taped to it. Next, we will check your IOTV or IBA to ensure that it is worn properly with name and name and rank. Next we'll be checking your assault pack starting with the PT belt to ensure that it is routed through the carrying handle from top to bottom with the roster number starting towards the top. We will also check your buckles and zippers to ensure they're fastened and that the excess is stowed. We will be checking your uniform to ensure it is worn properly with all buttons buttoned. We will also check your canteen carrying case to ensure it is fastened and the canteen cup is present. Moving on, we will inspect what is laid out on the poncho, starting with the e-tool, ensuring that it is pointed towards the outside and that it is clean and serviceable. It does not need to be freshly spray painted black, just no major clumps of dirt. Next, we will inspect the e-tool carrying case, ensuring that the buckle is fastened and it is pointed towards the outside. We will also inspect the snaps on the back to ensure that they are closed. Next, we will inspect the wet weather bag, ensuring that both strings are attached and that there are no dime sized holes or larger. It also needs to be folded neatly. Next, we will inspect your ACH, ensuring that the roster number is towards the front and that the chin strap is buckled and the pads are present. Next, we will check your work gloves, ensuring that the palms are together, the fingers are towards the middle, and the thumb is towards the front. We will check to make sure there are no tears and that they are serviceable. We will also check your glove liners, ensuring that the fingers are towards the middle, the thumb is towards the front, and that there are no holes. Next, we will check your 3x5 card, ensuring that your roster number is in the top left, your class number is in the top right, it has your last name, first name, middle initial, rank, and unit. Next, we will check your 2-quart canteen, ensuring that it is full of water, fill point towards the center of the poncho with the clasp fastened and facing up. We will also check to make sure that the clips are present. You do not need the carrying handle, but if you do, you can fold it up and place it underneath. Next, we will inspect your socks. They need to be placed one on each side of the one quart canteen with the heels to the middle and the toes to the outside. Then we will inspect your one quart canteen, ensuring that the roster number is to the sky and the fill port is towards the top. Next, we will inspect your goggles, ensuring that the clear lenses and the dust cover are present. Then we will inspect your ID card, your notebook, and your Ziploc bag, as well as your pen and your highlighter, ensuring that the pen is towards the inside. Next, we will inspect your green or black PT cap, ensuring it is folded neatly, pointing towards your two-quart canteen, clean and serviceable. Under that, we will find your neck gaiter, also clean and serviceable. Moving up, we will find your one remaining chem light. Then we will inspect that your EarPro and EarPro case is present. EarPro case needs to be open with the lid facing towards the middle and the chain facing the outside. Next, we will check to ensure that you have one complete unopened MRE. Next, we will inspect your patrol cap. Your patrol cap can have no alterations done to it. If you have pin on rank, you must have a Velcro name. If you have sewn on rank, you must have a sewn on name. Next, we will inspect your tan t-shirt. It must be serviceable with no holes or tears and no stains. Next, we will inspect your uniform top. Your uniform top must have all patches present, your unit patch, your American flag, your name, U.S. Army, and rank. It also must be zipped up and the cuffs cuffed. Next, we will inspect your uniform pants. They must be clean and serviceable with all Velcro fastened and buttons buttoned, including the leg pockets and the back pockets. Next, we will inspect your cold weather jacket or your fleece. If there is a place for a patch to be worn, a patch must be present. We are also inspecting for its cleanliness and serviceability, as well as that the zippers are zipped and the buttons are buttoned. Lastly, we will inspect your wet weather top. There is a place for rank and rank must be present. We will also inspect to make sure that the buttons are fastened and the zippers are zipped. This concludes the 10 layout inspection demonstration.